Hello, uh, this is Professor Munir from Department of Chemistry, Aligarh Muslim University, Aligarh. Title of the prescribed course is Organic Photochemistry. This is a UGC prescribed course for MSc chemistry students. Uh, this is course is running in many universities. Uh, in this course, I have tried to uh, give an introductory detail about the photochemistry. When you are talking about photochemistry, it is the interaction of light, uh, mainly the UV light, which gives around 200 to 400 nanometer light. Uh, how much amount of energy we are giving to the molecule? It is uh, around 70 to 140 kilocalorie per mole. When we give this much light to a, to a molecule, what changes can occur? It is the mainly molecule undergo uh, electronic transition, mainly the sigma to sigma star, pi to pi star, and n to pi star. These transition states, the molecule on absorption of light goes to excited state, and these excited states are high energy species, short lived, may undergo different photophysical processes such as radiative and non-radiative processes and uh, the and some it may also undergo different photochemical reaction in the beginning lectures i have tried to uh, give a details about the introduction on fundamentals of photochemistry and later on we have discussed the photochemistry of different chromophoric organic molecules such as alkyl which may undergo cis trans isomerization or it may undergo uh, cyclization we have also looked into the photochemistry of carbonyl compounds, which mainly undergo four different types of photoreactions, such as Norris type 1, Norris type 2, photoreduction, and uh, cycloaddition reactions, such as Peterno Buki reaction. We have also looked in the photochemistry of uh, different chromophoric molecules like alpha beta unsaturated compounds, beta gamma unsaturated compounds, and the aromatic compounds, and also some named reactions. We have also looked at the uh, photochemistry can be brought about by direct photolysis as well as by indirect photolysis. Indirect photolysis, we call it as a sensitized photolysis. Sensitized photolysis, we use a second molecule which absorbs light, goes to an excited state and transfer energy to another molecule or it can may also transfer electron. When it transfers electron, then uh, it is a case of donor acceptor. We generate electron uh, radical KT and a radical anion species which may undergo different types of photoreaction. This photoinduced electron transfer reaction can be again of two types homogeneous photoinduced electron transfer reaction or heterogeneous photoinduced electron transfer reaction. In homogeneous photoinduced electron transfer reaction, both donor except so both are soluble, uh, whereas in the case of heterogeneous photoinduced electron transfer re reaction, it is a reaction taking place on surface of the reaction. It is a biphasic reaction where one phase is soluble, other phase is not soluble, and hence. And best example is the semiconductor mediated photoreaction where which is characterized by filled valence band and vacant conduction band. And when we give light equal to a band gap energy, there is an excitation of electron from valence band to the conduction band. Or in other words, it generates oxidation and reduction sites on the surface of the reaction, which may undergo redox reaction. So these details are going to be highly beneficial to MSc students uh, of the organic chemistry branch or also those PhD students who are preparing for net gate or also those students who are, who are involved in uh, the research on photochemistry, synthetic organic chemistry and so on and so forth. So all are welcome for this course. Thank you very much.